Hey there guys, did a review of the Vivison Vigro box last week and there were some questions and comments about the you know, potential yield from this size of a grow box and in particular what kind of light intensity there was. There was criticism that I just sort of waved the, um, the power meter underneath the light without giving a full picture. So done some more tests and I have them to share with you. So I'll show you now. So in the box I have put this test area. So same size as the box and I inserted it in at different heights. Starting off at the lowest height recommended here, you can see it there, um, which is 20 centimeters above the bottom of the pot. And then I did another one, uh, what height was 50 centimeters, um, that's up here, so that's at about 8 inches, then at about uh, 18 inches, and then right up the top here at 70 centimeters and I've got three sets of results for you. So first one then, oh these are all at 100% by the way. Um, so first one is at as I said 20 centimeters or 8 inches mark from the top of the pot and that recorded an average of 528 micromoles. So pretty good average, definitely good enough for veg. Um, then at what like is it 50 centimeters so about 18 inches above the pot now this is 36 centimeters from the top that's about a foot from the top and that delivers an average of 766 micromoles so plenty for um for flowering went right up high then all the way to the very so just under the top about six eight inches from the top 17 centimeters and that gives a very high average 1232 so uh, absolutely plenty there <coughs> for um, for flowering. Now in terms of what yield it might deliver, the, oops, sorry, with regards to what yield it might deliver, well it's a 100 watt grow light. Typically it depends on you know your growing medium, your genetics, all that sort of stuff. <coughs> Excuse me, but you should expect to get somewhere between about 100 and 150 grams depending as I said on your chosen medium genetics and experience really with growing. The one thing I would say is, oh and by the way if you're doing this with autos you could be doing that every, if you're doing the um, seedlings outside of the grow box um, or in, inside the grow box for the first two or three weeks and transplanting them in here, you should be getting that yield every eight weeks or so with autos. So as far as I can, I'm concerned, certainly for me it would um, be sufficient for one person. It depends on your appetite of course, but uh, certainly would be good enough for me. Um, just on the way the Vivison is set up, I would suggest probably jacking it up if it's on automatic and it's recommending a lower light intensity, I would probably jack it up to 100 from nearly the start, certainly after two or three weeks, even if the, the plants are right down at the bottom. Um, you know, you might as well get up to that 500 micromoles as quickly as possible, so why not? So I hope this helps. Uh, thanks for all your queries and comments on the previous video, and uh, be interested to you know what you think of this one, so please comment below. Take care.